do something a little bit different today. I'll do a couple of book reviews. This is The Bad Place by uh, Dean R. Kuntz. Kuntz? You know how to say it. This book was really, really good. It started excellent. Um, all the characters are very likeable. Um, it's nicely paced. Um, it doesn't like go stagnant half the way through. Um, the only thing I do have to say about it is the end was pretty rubbish. Um, considering um, the first half of the book was non-stop you know, excitement, it was great to read, it flowed well. Um, I didn't get bored, which is quite good because I, I get quite bored if I read a, a book, especially a bigger book. Um, but yeah, definitely a good read. I, I would read it again. I probably will do it at some point. Um, but ending was a bit rubbish. Now, this one here, again, it's the same author, but this is called Odd Thomas. I saw the film before I read the book. The film was okay, it was quite funny. Um, I didn't realise it was him actually that um, wrote the film or wrote the book. The characters again are fantastic in this. Um, you really feel for the main character. What about like about this one is that it's written like a diary, so it's first person um, perspective. So it's actually the main character telling him about the events that have already happened. And um, in the book, it, it, sorry, in the film, it's the same thing. It's the character telling you what's going on. The only thing they didn't put in the film was Elvis. Now, I think it would have been hilarious to have him in, in, the, um, in the film because I thought it was a good touch. But they didn't. Um, and the, an the ending was slightly different as well. Um, I won't tell you that just in case you've not read it. But um, again, a good book. I would recommend this one too. Now, I've just found this book and it's called, he's called Ramsey Campbell. Never, never heard of him. He says um, here he's like an important, scary, involving novel. I had to fight myself every time circumstances forced me to put it down. He's saying it's like the English, um, oh my goodness, the English, Stephen King, oh my God. Well, my coin. Yeah, so it, it, the first part was okay. I'm only very, very new into the book. It's okay. Um, it's set in the 80s in London. Um, so far, all I know about it is this is a woman, she's a journalist and she has dreams. And she went for a sleep study 11 years before this book actually starts. Not that makes no sense, but yeah, you know what I mean. Um, um, I think I'll probably find this a bit more difficult to read. Um, I. With those two, I really couldn't put them down. There, you know, they were really, uh, really nice to read. But this is not so much. Um, I don't know. I'll give it some more time, and I might go online and see what other books that he's read. And um, all these books come from the book place in where I live in Morrison's. It's been you know, put up some changing, and you can take a book. So I've got some more ones up there. I'm going to try. I've got some more. Um, some Martina Cole, which I like. Um, I've not been able to. Um, I've not been really be able to read her, and um, because that's um, the two books that um, Mum bought before she passed away to read uh, while she was in hospital. Um, but these are some of my. Couple of James Herberts um, that I liked. I liked his um, Rats trilogy. So I think it was um, Rats Domain and oh, what's the other one? Go on, you know what it is. Comment below. I can't remember. Rats Domain and something like that. Well, I really enjoyed those. So yeah, that's just a quick uh, book review on these. And tell me, have you seen them? Have you read them? Do you know this bit, Ramsey Campbell? I've never really heard of him at all. Hmm, so there you go. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.